Hello friend and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to learn how to make this awesome beanie with a rolled brim on circular needles today. So the first thing we're going to need is some yarn and this hat is going to be knit with either two worsted weight sized yarns held together or one bulky yarn. Um, so I'm going to use today two different worsted weights yarns. I have this shawl and a cake, which is um, in the ohm opal color. And I also have um, this Super Saver Red Heart Jumbo Stripes in Favorite Stripe. And they're not wrong, that is my favorite stripe. And I'm going to use these two colors today to make another one that looks almost exactly like this, but it's going to have different color combo. It's going to be so cute. Um, the other things that we are going to need today are going to be a size 9 circular needle, a stitch marker, some scissors, and a darning needle to weave our ends in. And that, and our hands, like this is literally all we're going to need to make this hat today. So let's go ahead and get started. So a little bit about cast on. I am going to use a cable knit cast on. Um, I really like it. It's easy and if you make a mistake it's easy to fix. You are more than welcome to use any kind of cast on you like. Um, it doesn't make too much of a difference because the brim of the hat as you can see is going to be rolled up. So you're not even going to see it when the hat's finished. But let's go ahead and we'll get started with our cast on. I'm gonna get my yarns together. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make a slip knot. Make a little bit longer tail there. Like so. Boom, slip knot. First stitch done, look at that, ha ha. All right, and then we're gonna take our size nine circular needles, and I believe this is a 40 inch, I believe these are 40 inch, um, the wire. But as it, any any size will do as long as um, it's long enough to get around the hat, or to hold all of your stitches, which this one more is more than long enough. Okay, so we're gonna start with our cable knit cast on. So I'm gonna put that loop on my left hand needle and then I'm going to put my right needle through that loop, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on the left hand needle. Now I'm going to go between those two stitches, pull up a loop, place it on the left hand needle. And then I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to do it again until I have 60 stitches. Oops. <laughs> 60 stitches is what we're looking for. Nine, 60, all right. I have got 60 cast onto my needles. Um, now this is going to fit my head, which is a size 22, uh, it's 22 inches um, around, and the average adult woman's head in the US is 21 and three quarters of an inch, so it's about average. So this would be like a medium sized ha hat. If you wanted a bigger one, I would cast on um, a couple more. If you wanted a smaller one for a child, I would take off about six or seven, maybe eight to 10. Um, but we've gonna, 60 is perfect. For what we're making. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and join this in the round. And this is one of the more important things um, because when you join it in the round, you wanna be very careful that your stitches are not twisted around like this. See how there's this twist here? Now, if I were to join this in the round and I started knitting, I would end up making a Mobius strip, which is like a figure eight. Um, it's a it's a strip that only has one side to it. And it's a very cool thing. Um, and if you ever, it's a great shape for like uh, scarves and cowls and things like that, but it's not what we're looking for in this hat. So we wanna make sure that our stitches are all on the same plane, that they're all lined up. 
So, and these are, looks great. And then what I'm gonna do while I'm holding on to those stitches to keep them straight in my left, right hand, I'm going to go ahead and grab the wire between these two here. And I'm gonna gently pull that other needle until it hits those stitches. And now I have my working yarn right where I want it to be. And I can work and it's great. So now what we're gonna do is just knit. We are just gonna do knit stitches all the way around. Go ahead and put this here. Don't forget your stitch markers. We're gonna go ahead and knit that stitch. And then knit the next one. And then literally just keep going all the way around. Well, I will show you. We're not gonna go all, we are gonna go all the way around. No worries. I, uh, yeah, here we go. I want to show you how to um, do the magic circle. If you've never knitted in the round um, with, with circular needles, then it might be a little bit confusing at first, but trust me, it all works out and it's wonderful. So you're going to come up to this point here where we run out of need we run out of stitches on our left hand needle and we have to figure out what we're doing with that and it is super easy but it does take a little bit of coordination you just have to hold some things and pull some things okay so we have come to the point where we have nothing on our left hand needle and everything is over here now what we're going to do is we're just going to slide all of these down I like to keep four stitches um, on my, my right hand needle. You can do whatever you want. I think that it is always good to have a few stitches on the needle when you pull the, the magic circle loop up because your tension will be better if you do that. But like I said, you can do whatever you want. But I like to leave about four on there um, and something that I never do is pull the loop up um, where my stitch marker is because I have found that it is very easy to lose it if I do that. It will just fall off the needle and I'll be like, I'll be like five rows in and be like, oh no, I lost my stitch marker. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go ahead and just pull this loop up. Pull that. And then we will continue on to our stitch marker. Now, this first row, sometimes this thing gets in the way and you kind of have to twist it out of your way. Um, <laughs> this first row, when we get back to the stitch marker where our row started, we also have to be really careful that we don't make a Mobius strip then as well um, and make sure that our stitches aren't twisted because that is another place where um, it can very easily happen. And you just gotta be on the lookout for it. So let's go ahead and we'll just knit all the way around. Oh, I'm excited about the colors on this one. Love me some bright pinks and purples. Purples, the best color in my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own. <laughs> okay, and we're coming up here. We just got a couple more. Go ahead and pull this. See, look, it's already kind of twisted itself around. So we want to make sure get up here that it goes the directions we want it to go. Not necessarily the direction it wants to go. Okay, and then these last two stitches with the cable knit cast on, they get bunched up together. 
So you want to be able to make sure that you don't um, knit those two together unless, you know, you want to, in which case, by all means, please do. But I just pulled them, make sure I pull them apart and then knit them. Knit. Okay. And now let's make sure that it's not twisted and we can see that it is not twisted. So we will go ahead and continue on. Now we are going to continue for 26 rows. So we've got one row done. So we're going to do at least 25 more rows because um, we want this to be about six inches tall before we start our decreases. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn my camera off and I'm going to knit until I get to the part where uh, we need to start our decreases and you can pause this video and come back when you are ready. It might take a couple hours, it might take a couple days. You might be a speedy knitter and already be done. I don't even know. <laughs> um, but I am going to go ahead and keep knitting. Because yeah, because what we want is we want it to be about six inches from here to here. And my palm, the palm of my hand from here to here is six inches. So that's what we're aiming for. Oh, shoot. You couldn't even see what I was just doing. Haha, <laughs> I need to learn where my camera is. Six inches from here to here. And that comes out to about 26 rows. So yeah, I will meet you back here when we are ready to close up our hat and start our decreases. Happy knitting. Okay, friend, we have made it to row 26 or six inches long or however long you want it to be. It's your hat. If you want a deeper hat, you go right ahead and keep on knitting. Um, but for those of us who are ready, let's go ahead and we're going to start our decreases. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing it in sections of six stitches. So we're going to knit four stitches and then we're going to knit two stitches together and that's going to decrease this 10 stitches each time we do a decrease. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one, our first decrease. So we're going to knit four, one, two, three, four, and then knit two together which is super easy. You just take those two stitches, you put your needle through both of them as if you're going to knit, and then you pull up a loop and slip them off. And now you have five stitches. See how easy that is? So cool. All right, we're gonna do that all the way around. Let's do it a couple more times together. One, two, three, four, knit two together. One, two, three, four, knit two together. Easy peasy. It is just so easy to decrease a hat. Three, four. It helps if you can you count and you know what you're doing, because look, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do this all the way around. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I've made it all the way around with my first row of decreases and I should have about 50 stitches on my, on my needles right now. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to knit two rows. So we'll just go ahead and do that. All right, I finished those two rows. So we're now we're gonna do another row of decreases. And what we're gonna do is we're going to knit three and then knit two together all the way around. And then we're gonna knit two rows. So let's do a couple of those together, just like before, except this time we're gonna do one, two, three, and then knit two together. One, two, three, 
knit two together. Okay, finish doing that all the way around, knit two more rows, and I'll meet you back here for the next decrease row. All right, so I finished that decrease row and then I knit two more rows, and now we are back and we're gonna do another decrease row. Um, before we get to that though, we need to talk about how when you are using circular needles and you're knitting in the round, when you get down to like 35, 30 stitches on your needles, it can get really hard to move your needles and the stitches around to keep your tension nice because it gets really tight on here. And so the way that um, you fix that with the magic circle method is what I affectionately like to call rabbit ears. And um, how you do that is I like to find about where it is so that about half the stitches are on this side and about half the stitches are on this side and then I will go and I will find this is where I've been doing my decreases so I'm gonna pull it out from here but I'm just gonna pull another loop up so that it looks like I have little bunny ears right and now when I go around and um, knit, I'm when I get to here, I'm going to have to remember to pull from this end first, and I will go ahead and show you how to do that. But it makes it so that I can knit comfortably and nothing gets too tight and my tension doesn't get weird. And it's just makes this, these circular needles are so versatile and I am, I love them. I don't know how people knit things before without them. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to be doing um, knit two, knit two together, and then we're going to do one row um, of knit after that. So let's do a couple of those together. So we've got one, two, knit two together, one, two, knit two together. One, two, knit two together. And we have come up to, there's no more stitches on this left hand needle. So what we want to do first is pull this one out just like that. And then do this one. I like to keep the sections together when you're doing decreases. So like I'll pull it in between where I just did my decreases and the start of the next little section there. Just like that. Twist it up a little bit. And then we'll continue. So I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish this decrease row and then I'm gonna knit one row and I'll meet you back here for the next decrease row. One, two, knit two together. Dokey. Finish that decrease round and then I knit one row, knit one row, and now we are at knit one, knit two together, and we're going to do that all the way around and then we're going to go straight. We're not going to knit any other rows. Um, after that, we're gonna just going to do knit two together all the way around. So we're going to go ahead and just do that together. So knit one, knit two together because we're going to go straight into our um, binding off right after that. So let's just do this all together right here. We'll knit one, knit two together, knit one, Knit two together. There should be ten stitches on your needles when you're all done. That is uh, what we're aiming for. If it's a little bit off, well, oh well. <laughs> Sometimes life is a little bit off, you know. Two 
oops see look I forgot to do the no I didn't there it is I just it's getting tight <laughs> these last couple ones are tight knit one knit two together okay and now we are going to knit two together all the way around oops try try again knit two together ten times nope <laughs> Almost got it. You're so close to finishing this hat, y'all. Like five more stitches. Two, three, <laughs> so much can like having to wiggle everything around get it in the right place four and five ta-da last stitch all right we can take this and put that to the side I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out so I don't accidentally slip any of my stitches off before I bind them off. I'm going to get my scissors. Got my darning needle. Okay. Let's put this on there. Here we go. Let's bind this off. Alrighty. You can bend this too, if that helps. Here we go. And just slip these stitches from the needle onto the needle. <laughs> from one little needle to another. And pull that through. And then just slip, slip, slip. Okay. Now I like to pull it tight. this out of our way and then I put it through the top and turn it inside out um, and I like to tie a bunch of little knots in the top now because I recently had a family member who um, put his hat on <laughs> and the top came unraveled and I was very sad about it. I was like, oh man, I need to do a better job weaving in my ends nice and tight. And so now I'm trying out putting little knots in the top just to make sure that that doesn't happen again. <laughs> it was a first for me, but maybe, hopefully it will be the last. So just tie it off. And then I like to go through a couple of stitches, through the backs of a few stitches, just back and forth, like so. Just about four or five times, and then go back the way I came, just to kind of lock that yarn in, so that it's not going to unravel when somebody shoves their head into it. <laughs> okay, one down, one to go. Let's find our other end at the very beginning. The only orange in the hat that is like rolled up into the brim. You're not even going to see it. <laughs> but I'll know it's there. And that's what matters, right? Um, when, when weaving this end in, make sure you try and keep it on the same color stitches because it will be less likely to um, show that way. 
and also you don't have to worry really about if it's on the inside or the outside because this uh, is going to be rolled up, this hem. My next tutorial video I'll show you us how to make a hat that has a flat edge by doing a ribbing. But this is literally the easiest type of hat that I know how to make is a rolled edge in the round hat. And look at that. Pull this through, trim this off. Look at that, y'all. Congratulations. You have knitted a hat. I'm so proud. I hope you're proud of you too. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me and knitting a hat. Um, I hope it keeps your head warm or makes a beautiful gift for someone. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Bye.